I was there at every game. I was screaming, I was yelling. I was our biggest fan. I tried to really let them know that whatever support they needed, whatever they needed to, to excel, then I was going to provide that support no matter what it cost. Integrity and ethics are right up here. Um, and you know, if being honest makes the NBA a better place and it, it makes the Mavericks a better organization, then okay, if it costs me a little money, I can deal with that. 四月十号，独行侠队二零一八年最后一场常规赛的现场，人们又在球场边看到了一个熟悉的身影。即使已经到了赛季尾声，球赛并不激烈，他依然数度鼓掌呐喊，为球员加油鼓劲。如果你不认识他，你完全无法将他与“亿万富豪”这个词联系在一起。他就是传说中的独行侠队老板，也是球队的头号球迷马克·库班。马克·库班呢，是美国最知名的体育界商人之一，美国 NBA 啊最有个性的球队老板。他是球队最忠诚、最疯狂的球迷，他投入金钱与心血，苦心经营，把当年被评为最差职业体育队的球队，逐步转型为联盟强队和最为人熟知的球队之一。而如今啊，家喻户晓的小牛队有了一个全新的中文名——独行侠队。Chinese name of the Maverick has been used for decades, and you know everyone knows it in China. Why did you decide to change the name? Well, we never really paid attention to the literal translation, <laughs> and for so many years, for so many years, and then we finally hired somebody that was fluent in Chinese,、mm -hmm. who very quickly told us that it was Little Cow, and that wasn't quite the brand recognition that we wanted. So, and you know, changing it created an opportunity to have a contest and have some fun with it. And to really extend our、um, presence in China, so it was a good opportunity. Kuban from 学生时代起就拥有一颗篮球梦。一九九八年 ，Kuban 投资了网络公司 Broadcast.com， 其初衷之一就是为了推广母校参加的美国大学篮球联赛。在短短的一年时间里 ，Kuban 将体育赛事网络直播打造成了公司最具商业前景的业务之一。一九九九年。库班以五十九亿美元的天价把公司卖给了雅虎公司，摇身一变为亿万富翁的库班，在第二年就把这笔巨款用来实现了自己的篮球梦，以两亿八千万美元买下了当时战绩不佳的达拉斯独行侠队。You are one of the most well-known, you know, NBA bosses and the most popular one in China, I would say. And not for you know buying a winning team, because you know in 2000 when you bought Marbury, it was a lousy team at lousy. the time.、Yep. Yeah, why did you choose it? I was a fan of the team, and I went even to back a, then. Even back then, when、yeah. it was playing so badly. Even when we were playing badly, I, I'm a hometown guy, so win or lose, I, I stick with my teams. There wasn't a lot of energy in the arena. There wasn't a lot of excitement. I thought. You know, I can do better than this, and I had just sold my company. I was like,、oh, you had the, you know, I had the money.、Cash. Yeah, I had the money to do it, and so I was like, okay, let me give this a shot, and the rest is history. Kuban 为独行侠队带来的改变是显而易见的。他投资翻新了球馆，为球队购买了私人飞机，为他们的客场行程预定顶级食宿，还利用自己科技产业背景引进了一系列现代化设备，帮助球队提高表现。然而，最重要的是，库班用“为胜利不惜一切”的格言感染了整个球队。在他的带领下，独行侠队用实际的行动挥洒着竞技体育中最动人的狂热激情。What did you do to turn it around?、Um, really, sometimes to to have an organization achieve success, it's just a matter of, of giving them confidence and showing them that you believe in them and, and letting them. You know, giving them the support they needed to to do their best, and so that's what I tried to do. Once everybody realized that I believed in them, they started to believe in themselves, and and things turned around. How did you inject that spirit into them? I was there at every game. I was screaming. I was yelling. I was our biggest fan. And even like give out your email address to like yeah, all the fans. Yeah, I gave、right? yeah, I gave my email to this day. I get email、um, emails from everybody.、Um, but yeah, I put my email address on the jumbotron and got great feedback from fans. Great ideas and. You know, shared with them insights about the players. Really tried to create a personal connection between the fans and the players, and a connection between the players、um, 
and and just self improvement. 二零零八年，加盟球队的总教练里克·卡莱尔是库班十分重视的工作拍档。对于库班对球队的狂热激情，卡莱尔十分赞赏和感到欣慰。Mark is very involved.、Um, he goes to virtually every home game. This team is part of his family, and it's really I don't know that there's anything more important to him than the Dallas Mavericks players and organization, other than his direct family. He has direct contact with our guys. He talks to them. He texts with them,、um, and these are all things that I encourage. You know, as the head coach, I want him to be very close to the players,、um, and I think it's important that the owner of an NBA franchise、uh, has a great experience as an owner and, and has a very intimate relationship with the team. And so he does, and it's been a very important aspect of our success. But it's not common in other teams, right? There's no one quite like Mark. Mark's been one of, is one of the most successful people I've ever met in my life.、Um, he's been successful at virtually everything,、uh, including building championship team, which we did here. I think he's very special, very unique,、um, very much a pioneer and a trendsetter. In the business world, Kuban is a experienced player. As long as the price is right, in Kuban's eyes, there is nothing that can't be sold. The only exception is the Golden State Warriors. The Golden State Warriors is a very special team. 多年来，库班不断为独行侠队注资，可以说是毫无投资哲学可言。但无论独行侠队的经营状况多么糟糕，库班始终坚持不离不弃，将独行侠队视为自己珍视的非卖品。Do you have a different incentive system like from other teams?、Or? No, it's not so much a different incentive system, but some some other teams will put、um, put profits over results. And like you said, I, I have a lot of money, and so I, I didn't need more money. But I wanted a championship, and so I tried to really let them know that whatever support they needed, whatever they needed to, to excel, then I was going to provide that support, no matter what it cost. We brought in better people to help them. We had better coaches. We had better better medical systems. We had better training systems. We really we traveled better. I spent a lot of money. <laughs> I spent a whole lot of money.、Um, So, well, a lot of other people have money too. Well, that's they true. They don't see the same result. Well, that's、right? true. That's true, and I appreciate that.、Um, I really, I think I, we we gave them the resources that they needed. I mean, it's one thing to have talent, but if you don't work hard and you don't have support that you need from your bosses, that talent doesn't always reach its potential. And we finally got to the top and won a championship in 2011. 独行侠队当家球星德克诺维斯基与库班的深厚友情一直被传为佳话。不论外界如何质疑诺维斯基的能力，甚至连诺维斯基也失去自信时，库班仍然坚定地把诺维斯基视作基石。二零一一年，这对莫逆之交的不懈努力终于换来了回报，他们为达拉斯独行侠队带来了舰队以来第一个 NBA 冠军奖杯。No whiskey, you know, you you never thought about trading them. Oh you know, no, never. Even for Kobe Bryant, no, no, you know, you someone that, you、yeah. love, or、yeah. even now when he's you know getting to the age. So what do your players mean to you? I mean, they mean a lot. I mean, Dirk's obviously shown a lot of loyalty. We've had a lot of success together. We're friends. You know, we're probably more than friends. We're we're close, and and you know, we've we've grown up together. You know, it becomes more than just about basketball. It becomes about friendship. September 10th, game scene. 虽然当家球星诺维斯基因为接受左脚踝手术无法上场比赛，球队还是为每个到场的球迷送上了一件写有“达拉斯挺德克”的 T 恤，致以他们心目中这位球队英雄。今年已经近四十岁的诺维斯基已经在达拉斯独行侠队效力二十年，并确认会在脚踝伤愈后，在下个赛季回归球队。谈起他的伯乐库班，诺维斯基的言语间充满感激之情。How do you feel about Mark Cuban? Who never thought about trading you? Well, I'm sure he thought about it a couple of times,、uh, especially early on.、Uh, you never know, but you know, it's just you know, Mark and I met. My what he bought the team in the second year, and,、um, and you know, he was back in the days. He was at every practice, at every game, and you know, after practice, we used to shoot around, play some one-on-one, -on -one, and we just started a, developing a, a, a great relationship and.、Um, You know, just、uh, been loyal to him. He's been loyal to me. I mean, he made me his franchise player when I was what 24. He gave me this six-year deal, a max deal, and 
Um, so everything I did for the Mavs was obviously also because of him. I had plenty of issues in my 20 years here off the court as well, and he, he helped me to get through some of those. And um, So he's, he's always been there for me on and off the floor, and, and uh, obviously I uh, appreciate him a lot as well. I had opportunities to trade Dirk, and, and I'm glad I didn't do it. There were even times where he said I would trade. He, he said he would <laughs> trade himself for like Kobe Bryant or whoever, and I'm, I'm glad we didn't do it. He's, he's an institution here in Dallas. He's the heart of the Mavericks, and, and even after he's gone and he's retired, he'll, he'll still be a special part of the Mavericks. 虽然总把追求胜利挂在嘴边，但库班追求的是真正的竞技体育精神。作为一个追求胜利的富豪老板，他没有选择以重金买入超级球星，而是围绕已有球队核心不断补强实力。为了挺球队，他不惜被刻意重税。甚至会为了一些判罚与裁判争吵，也因此常常被处以天价罚款，总共被罚超过两百六十万美金。但库班对这些重金损失却毫不在乎。How important does winning mean to you? Everything. I mean. So you're in to win. Oh yeah, I'm in it to win it. Yeah, I'm, I'm competitive. I mean,、um, you know, I think integrity and ethics are up here, and then just right here is winning. And how important is saying exactly on your mind, you know, to you? It gets me in trouble. It gets me in trouble. Has the mass what, like over 2.6 million dollars? Yeah, I like to call it honesty. <laughs> my mom、Fines、always for honesty. Yeah, my my parents always told me honesty is the best policy, right? So you don't think that you will change? No, not a bit. Integrity and ethics are right up here,、um, and you know, being honest makes the NBA a better place, and it it makes the Mavericks a better organization. Then okay. If it costs me a little money, I can deal with that. And, and I think what I try to do, I try to be prepared as well. Sometimes you have to be loud, and sometimes you're not going to be popular. But when it comes time to sit down and really discuss an issue, if you're prepared, and then then good things can happen. Kuban 曾经在科技界创业投资，擅长把握科技的脉搏，引领未来的潮流走向。他如何将科技元素带入独行侠队，改善球队的表现？近年来战绩不佳的独行侠队日前也遭受种种危机，库班又会采取何种措施重建球队，继续冲击冠军？下一节继续。NBA 是一个商业联盟，但身在其中的库班却是一位名副其实的性情中人。他从不遮掩，坦坦荡荡，也希望通过球队为社会带来更多激情和正能量。You were a successful entrepreneur before you bought the Maverick and become an owner. What common element do you see in you know running a successful business versus running a successful sports team?、Um, effort. You know, I've always said the one thing in life you can control is your effort. A lot of people, like we just said, a lot of people like to talk and don't like to do the work. I think salesmanship.、Um, there's never been a company that succeeded that doesn't have sales. You have to have a product that people want. You have to be nice to your customers. I think nice is underrated.、Um, you know, I didn't always, I wasn't always this way, but I think over the last 10, 12 years, I've, I've realized that just by being nice, you get a lot better results, and people tend to want to work with you a whole lot more. So. I've recognized that sometimes a smile and, and、yeah. you know just chilling out a little bit goes a long way. So to most owners, I mean NBA teams meaning it's just a tool, right, to make money and、right. you know to make them successful and look good. So to you, it means much more. Yeah, I mean I had money, I have money, <laughs> and you know, and I don't I don't you know run it just to make money. I, making money is nice. I mean you know it's not a bad thing, but I, there's to me there's so much more. You know, of all the businesses I've ever been in, that you've ever been in, there's only a few that throw parades when you do really, really well. The Mavericks, the Warriors, whoever it may be, win a championship, and an entire city goes crazy, and we throw a parade. And I love parades.、Um, so you know, it's just there's that personal aspect of professional sports.、Um, you know, kids' heroes are, are NBA players like Dirk. You know, when they're sick, they want to have their they want to have Dirk or a Mavericks player come visit them, or their parents want you to come visit them. 
you know, when I tremendous uh, power. Yeah, and, and it's a it, it's it's a beautiful thing to be able to to have an impact on a child's life. You know, you don't see that. You know, you write software, and no one says, you know what, you wrote great software. You know, come visit my child. And so just you know, going to visit a hospital and just you know having an impact on the community. Those are things that that the Dallas Mavericks allow me and all of our players to do. 北京时间五月十六号，二零一八年 NBA 选秀抽签仪式在芝加哥举行，独行侠队获得了第五号签位，这是球队在本世纪抽中的最高签位纪录。结合近两年表现不尽人意的球队现状来看，这个签位或许是一个重建球队的契机。But now, you know, getting to a point that you know the time of the Sort of the time of the the, the team that you think about, you have to think about rebuilding the team. Oh, of、right? course, yeah. We've already started that process. Unfortunately,、um, you know, we had since I bought the team, we had the second best record in the NBA behind the, the、um, San Antonio Spurs, and you know, we we had our first losing season last year, and our, we'll have our second this year, unfortunately. But I'm tired of that. <laughs> <laughs> so we we had a great draft pick in, in Dennis Smith Jr.、Um, we added a great player in Harrison Barnes. And we'll look to add more. And so, hopefully, this year with free agency and and a draft pick, then we'll be able to get over the top and get back to contending for championships again next year. 在以运动员为主要载体的竞技体育产业中，科技正在帮助人类不断的突破极限。科技可以如何提升球员的表现？可以如何帮助分析战术？又将如何让体育产业发生系统性的变革呢？ And we see that technology has, you know, reached the sports world as well. Very much so. So, what kind of technologies is the Mavericks、uh, using? Everything, everything. I'm a geek at heart, so、yeah. everything I can. I mean, we do things like、um, speed of eye brain recognition. So, how quickly can a player recognize a play and react、um, so that we can test their speed of knowledge? And how can we improve that speed so that when they're on the court, they don't have to think; they can just react naturally.、Um, Physically, how do we track, you know, the imbalances in your body and how you run so that you don't get hurt? Or how do you deal with measuring a player's core fitness so that、um, they can improve, so they don't get hurt and so they can improve their performance? You know, I've invested in companies that have devices that、um, test your sweat, that you know measure things coming out of your skin. Just any edge that I can get, that's what I'm looking to do. And a lot of times they turn into really good businesses too, so it's a win-win. But all these require money, right? In terms of applying technology to the sports world, so will this mean that if you have more money, then your team will perform better in the future? I hope so. That's the goal. You know, the goal is to make the investments, so not only they can be profitable, but also our team can be better performing. With sports, what we're trying to do is create new sources of data. It may well be just going through and analyzing video and trying to find. Little nuanced differences, and see if if that gives us an advantage in testing it and back testing it. So we're we're trying to use data collection. We're trying to originate new sources of data, maximize the amounts of data and the quality of the data, then run it through our models and our algorithms and AI to see what comes out on the other side, and hopefully it'll give us an edge. And since the beginning of this year, you said that people can use Bitcoin to buy tickets for the market. It'll be next year. We'll start.、Uh, next year. Yeah, next okay. Year. So, How would you think that would change? I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see. You know,、um, cryptocurrencies are are all over the map right now. There, there's, you know, blockchain obviously is going to have a, a big.、Uh, it will be a big opportunity. The Mavericks will take,、um, for sure, will take Bitcoin and Ethereum. If people want to transact, you know, just any good business, you want to you want to do the things your customers want you to do. But are you afraid of being ahead of our times? Because sometimes for business, I mean, it has yeah, to be the right timing too, no, right? Yeah, sometimes it's costing money. No, you're right.、Yeah. It's, got, it's a great question. Your first first asking that. Being early, you, it's, it might cost you money sometimes, but but you still learn. You get to learn things first, and once you've learned them first, you can adapt and hopefully turn it into something successful. Kuban 充分发挥自己的科技产业背景，帮助独行侠队科技化起来。他在 NBA 首创给每个球员配备笔记本电脑。花费三百万美金改造了球队更衣室，引进了一系列检测和提高球员身体素质的设备。就连曾经到访独行侠队更衣室的中国小巨人姚明都为之惊叹，直言更衣室真奢侈。除了经营球队以外，精力旺盛的库班继续他的科技投资，和在著名真人秀节目《Shark Tank》创制赢家担任明星投资人评委，对未来社会的发展趋势有着深刻的洞见。
So you've been always been in tech for a long time, and you know you've been on ABC show Shark Tank judge for a long time as well. Seven years now, is it? Eight years. Eight years now. Wow, that's Crazy. a long time. Crazy. So, what lessons have you learned as an entrepreneur and as an investor that enables you to pay entrepreneurs now? Like it, it must be a different angle that you look at them. Yeah, now, you, right? you know, we've seen so many business pitches. We see like 250 every season. So over all those pitches, way too many. Um, you tend to get a feel for people who are honest, people who are hardworking that aren't looking for shortcuts, people who really believe in their product. You've got to really believe in, in yourself and your business and, and more importantly or as importantly, be willing to do the work. Because if you don't do the work, none of, you can have the best product in the world, but if you don't do the put in the effort and do the work and, and, and take care of your customers, then the company will fail. And people always talk about you as able to identify, you know, what the future will bring. How did you acquire that ability? I always just ask myself if it was 20 years from now and I'm looking back, what, how would people be doing things? There, there's no technology that lasts forever. There's no approach that lasts forever. And if you lose that thirst to, to learn, if you lo lose that dedication to knowledge, you're going to fall behind. And even worse in an AI-driven universe. Do you think people have that sense of urgency now? They're getting there. Right? If, you, if you look at the largest companies around the world, whether it's in China or the United States, you'll see that for the same jobs year to year, the number of employees is dropping. And so everybody is getting disrupted to some point. And so the question is, will you be able to anticipate when it's going to be you? Because it's never a big deal until it's your job, you know, and it's, or someone in your family's job. And so being able to anticipate and being able to have that, that ability to learn and adapt, I think is becoming exponentially more critical as time goes on. Sansa 所以在他接管球队以后啊其实有的时候只要球员和球队有足够的自信这位富豪可以为自己的私人爱好一掷千金